Hi guys, it's Mio. In this video, I want to talk a bit about how to use GIFs in a campaign. Uh, GIFs is a file format, uh, graphics interchange format, uh, as it's called. Um, and uh, basically, it makes it possible for you to create small video sequences uh, without uh, people having to push play or anything like that. First, I want to show you how it can be done. If you we look at King Down, this uh, campaign here, this one is uh, very nicely done. It's uh, it it brings some dynamic into the page, and here it's actually just to to divide some text and make it nicer to to look at and uh, easier to read and so on. And uh, it works very well because it's not disturbing the view uh, or particularly flashy or anything, but it you know it just gives you an idea of how they would look painted and how they look like uh, 3D models. Just rendered in clay rendering. Um, right underneath, they actually have one that I, I, I don't like uh, at all, which is one of those kind of commercial flashy kind of GIFs that, yeah, doesn't really add anything to, to the to the whole picture it's it's just a, a flashy thing um, down here there's a little dynamic in in the figures you can see the cross here and the eyes and this is super nice because it it just brings it alive without disturbing or without uh, demanding any attention so uh, that's done very nicely the second here I want to show you how it shouldn't be done um, a Paleon here, which is a card game of some sort. And we have what kind of uh, figures. Here's um, some GIF. As you can see, if I try to save it, it comes up. It's a GIF image, of course. Um, and, and here we have a turning dinosaur. Now, the cards, as far as I know, cannot have <laughs> a picture turning uh, or figure turning on them. So. I'm thinking, why are they are they doing this? Because I'm not going to see the tail of this dinosaur. It's going to be in one direction, and I would much rather like to see how it looks on the card than see the whole model, because the whole model doesn't interest me as much. If it was a miniature, it wouldn't be uh, that bad, because then I would have a chance to, to see how um, the miniature looks. I'd probably make it go a bit slower, and I would not put pictures like this because first of all they are not aligned and they turn in different directions and are completely screwing my uh, yeah screwing my brain <laughs> so it this doesn't work it, it confuses uh, one a lot so um and that's the that's the first uh flaw of doing a gif like that and uh, further down we actually have another one here, this one, if I try to save, you can see it's it's a GIF, but this one takes some time, they are changed, uh, and it, it shows gameplay. And now you're suddenly dictating how fast a person has to read, or how slow, depending on your skill level. level. Um, and it's very, you can see the picture quality is very awful. That's, of course, limited by the GIF format itself. It only goes to uh, 256 colors. Um, so I would definitely not use it for for anything like gameplay, where it's rather important to, to have a structured view. And if you scroll down in the, in the wrong tempo and see it, then you will be a bit confused. And you will have to wait until it goes back to number one, and then you see one, two, three, and etc. I wouldn't recommend doing it like this. Okay, the, the third and last one I want to show you is an example from a computer game called Superhot. And here they have used GIFs to showcase some gameplay mechanics. And it works very well because these GIFs actually pretty precisely explains how the gameplay uh, work so or what it's focused on what the game is focused on and since the graphics are fairly simple it's not hurt by the the limits of the gif so it, it works very well here 
and just to sum it up, um, the first thing is not to put important information, like I showed over here about gameplay or other important informations in a GIF. I really don't think that's a good idea because you, you, you're not sure that people will actually read or see it um, uh, in the order that you present it. Use it for items that uh, make sense. And that's definitely here where you explain something without a word. You kind of explain the, the matrix feel of this game. And the third, the visual appealing, which is something like, like this here, not this one, uh, but up here also very nice, very, very smooth and very calm, uh, nice to look at. So yeah, that's my take on using GIFs uh, in your Kickstarter campaign. I hope you can use it and have a great day.